Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here and it's Monday and we are doing Roxy's weekly challenge. So get ready for a bit of fun today. I've spent the whole morning preparing, having a sip of coffee and um, chatting to my mum while I was preparing. And so let me go through what you're going to need. So our base for today's project is going to be tracing paper. This is quite a thin tracing paper. It's not vellum. I prefer the tracing paper to the vellum. So if you can get a tracing paper, 50 gram, 50 GSM, this one. Um, we bought it at the, you know, the Chinese store. It's a bit like the dollar store. So it was inexpensive. And Lulu was using it um, for school and she doesn't use it anymore. So she gave it to me. So I'm going to take a sheet off. And what I'm going to do, we'll do a little bit. We're going to cut it down. I'll move my inks out of the way. I'm going to cut it down. I chose to do about, um, I was thinking two inches. Let's just have a look. Let's slide it in here. You can do them as wide as you want or as narrow as you want. So I'm going to do about two inches. So we'll cut a few. I'm going to cut one this way or maybe two because I can't fit. The long, I mean, you can do really long strips um, or you can do shorter ones like this. So I'll just continue. I'll just cut. I'll just do prepare like three. So three two inch strips. You could do two and a half if you want to. But I'm going to do two inch. So I'll put that aside and that's done. Now we're going to also need inks in a few different colors. You're going to need some stamps. You're going to need some stamps maybe that do frames. Um, you know, like labels, I want to say. So you can cut them out like this if you want to. Or you can have these ones that punch out from AliExpress. Um, I also punched out some circles over here and I kept some of the frames as well. Um, so you're going to need some yeah, labely sort of things that you can cut out and then obtain a frame like that. And maybe some labels. I've got a few bits here. That was left over from the a paper. I've got some stamped little scripty bits um, and botanicals here. I put them all in little trays today, little um, plates, so I thought that would be easier. I stamped some, um, I have these two stamps, this one and the grid one, and I stamped those in a few different colours, some on painted paper, script paper, grid, pa crafty grid paper, just so they're a little bit like washi tape. Um, that one fell out. And then I've got all sort of, well, I put these in here, they're more like, like stamped numbery sort of things. Oh, that's words. Well, that's okay. Oh, the words go over here in my other one. Just a minute. Sorry, vintage is meant to be over there. Um, this one's a mix of words and numbers, so I left that. So I've got some numbers stamped here in all different formats on different types of paper. So you've got to do those. Um, I punched out circles. So I punched out circles from um, some painted bits of paper, a printout, um, which was a ledger paper, a, a, a paper that I doodled on, a script paper... Just trying to see what other ones there are. Plain painted papers, some digitals here, which were background sort of papers, uh, some grid paper, and then that's a stamp that I got um, with a little, it's a little border stamp, so I put those in there. So we've done that one. Then here I've got things, oh that's old, that one, we might use that, um, where I've got, they've got words like that one, even though they couldn't spell, um, stampy sort of things like this sort of thing here. And on all different papers, you could have some Tracy labels if you want to. Um, Risposta, which was a, that's a vintage stamp that I bought or antique. Um, little postal sort of things, scripty things like that. Okay, there. And then in this one, I've got rectangles or squares. So I just cut out some of these um, digitals um, in those papers there. I'm not quite sure what I want to use, but I've just cut them out. Um, that's just a... a ticket a faux ticket um, just some scraps of paper I don't have too many of these sort of shapes here I've got some painted papers um, and that's about it in that one and then um, over here I've got some tracing paper that I stamped on I just did that I just thought I'll give that a go and they I might tear those out um, those ones so those are there I just left them there I haven't sort of sorted them out because I just did them and they're drying and then the other fun thing that I got, I know, yes, there's more, but it's quite a fun project. 
I've got these uh, labels, the sticky labels, these ones. I didn't like these ones. This is this one. See here? Um, it's the more shiny, plasticky one. I don't like those as much, although it doesn't seem to be coming off. But if you rub those, it sort of slides off because it's got that plasticky sort of coating. But the colours come out prettily. Um, these ones here, isn't that pretty? They are the papery ones like these. They're more paper. They're not... Um, they're not plasticky. So you'll probably have to, you know, buy one. And if it's not right, you'll have to try another brand sort of thing. I've got this size. And then I've got this size here, and which I thought was really good. And then I had another one um, that I finished. So I, paint, I, I actually painted a couple. Um, here are the painted ones. They're still actually drying. They're the painted ones. So you get, like, texture. They still stick. I did them with watercolour. Um, but I also, then I thought, wait, just a minute. I'm going to get Lulu's alcohol ink pens. These. Now, these are kind of like copies of the Copic, Copic ones that are super expensive. Um, and Lulu loves using these. And she's had them for quite a, probably two or three years now. These these are Ohuhu. Um, they could just come from Amazon. But I reckon they come from AliExpress in origin. Um, and there's lots of different brands. And look at the colours. So I tried to pull out the ones that looked paler to me. There were a couple that looked pale, but then they came out really dark. So maybe, I mean, Lulu's got a swatch of all of these somewhere. I just didn't go and rummage through her things and try and find it. But they colour really, really well. They're really great. And these were El Cheapos, um, but they work really well. And we like it when the El Cheapo things work really well. So that's those. And I just swatched out a few. See, that one looked lighter, but it came out darker. But it doesn't matter. And I thought they'd be fun to use for background things because also you could get like a um, paint pen. Just a minute. like the, I've got a white paint pen. And you could do things like, you know, you could do dots on them. I haven't told you what we're making yet. <laughs> so you could do dots on them. You could do stripes. Hopefully that you can see. It might be off screen. You could do stripes. You could turn your I'll do stripes all the way across and then I'll turn some of it because you're only going to be using pieces, not like big pieces. And then I'll turn some of it into a grid. So you can have fun with that. And you can also um, colour on these with the um, that was with the ink markers. So unless you want to do white, but you can go on these with the ink markers if you want to. So that's got those. Or you can paint them. And you could probably even try um, even maybe some, what's it called? Some cho uh, ch um, chalk paint could be really nice on them because they're really matte, like those sorts of colours. These were the watercolours there. But they give a little bit of texture. So um, that was with a Tombow and it didn't work so well. Uh, yeah, so they're all the bits and pieces that you you might need. You don't have to have all of them, but that's what I prepared. Um, and they're good things to have anyway. Oops. Um, they're good things to have, um, you know, for other types of collaging. So what we're going to be doing is kind of like creating these into sort of, it's kind of like a washi tape but um not really like you'll just glue it down it's not sticky but kind of like i wanted it to be transparent um, but you could certainly adapt this idea you could cut out some craft paper you could cut out strips of straw paper you could cut out um, packaging brown paper into strips and do the same sort of technique on those but i thought i quite like the transparency of this so i wanted to see how it turned out so the first thing I'm going to do is just grab some random bits of paper and we're just going to stick them down here and there um, on the tracing paper. I don't want to call it vellum. So I'm going to choose, look at that. Oh, look what happened there. Isn't that cool? Um, I'm going to choose, a, maybe I'll start with this color. and I'm just going to cut into it. Oh, it's crooked. Just cut a piece. And then it's sticky, you see? So you just stick it on. No problem. I'm just going to start here and stick it down there. You could snip off your corners if you want to. And then I'm going to grab maybe one of these smaller ones. Where's the other one? I might use one of these. Hopefully it's not too 
slippery. Yeah, like you know, the colour won't come off. And I like the blue and these sorts of colours together. So I'll put that one there. Like so. And then we're also going to use other papers as well. So maybe in here. Um, I didn't actually, I should have put in some more. I've got a little bit of text, but I don't have a lot of text. So I might put a little bit of grid paper here. And I might put that one up there. It's a little bit big. You can tear, you can have them all nice straight edges, or you can tear some edges if you want, like a mix. And I might stick that one up there. So just get, I'm using my glue stick. And, I'm, and I have been asked, does my glue stick stick? It does seem to stick this one. Um, I do put an abundant amount of glue on it. I do press very hard when I'm gluing. So a lot of glue goes on. And then I'm going to exert myself and find a circle. So I might use, uh, maybe we'll go with a different colorway. I might use that circle and put that, I've stuck that up, slide that down a little bit. Put that one there or, yeah, I'll put it there. Now it looks, all looks very just, disjointed at the moment but it does come together gradually so I'm going to put that one there and I re it's really I think it's really quite a lot of fun 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 so let's see what else we've got in here I don't want another pattern thing but I could have maybe a piece of blobby painted paper or I could actually have maybe if I wanted a bigger piece maybe I could have one of these Maybe I'll get some green. And it is still damp, but it doesn't really matter. It's a bit crooked. Oh, I'm, I am going to do this again, colour in these with those um, alcohol inks, because ink um, markers, because they're really great. And then I'm going to grab another one of these. What colour will we do? They, yeah, they're really, really... Fun to use. I might do this one. Put that one up there. Here. I think working for me, that because this is quite. I find this quite a hard. That I didn't put any glue there. I find this quite a hard thing to do. So I think working for me, working on a smaller uh, strip of paper is easier. Now I think I might grab some of this here. And I might put that, or do I want dots? Let's have a look. I could tear that bit there. So I do think it's well worth, if you can find like a mark, you know, these sort of mark, this is like, I call this a mark making sort of stamp. It is a good thing to have. So I think I'll put that there. So now we're going to start slowly building up our layers on here. Hopefully you can see, let me just double check that I'm on screen completely. I need to be on screen completely. So I need to move my bowls, my my vessels up further. I'll put, sorry, ching. There we go. Put that there. And I could get one of those cutouts. Where are they? Here. Oh no, I put them over here. Do I have any that's of any use? Oh, maybe that one. No. Now. Why I'm rejecting this one, it's the same book page as that one. I don't want the same book page. But I could go with this one. I could go with one of these. Maybe put that there like that. Um, this is on thicker paper. It's not that thick. I'm trying to avoid really thick pieces of paper. I'm just going to carefully cut that. That'll be fun to glue, won't it? Um, I'm trying to, yeah, try and avoid really thick pieces of paper because I think I'll use the blue one um, because you, we want to use it a little bit like um, a decorative sort of washi tape. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use it, but we'll do a video using them. I'll have to think about it. I just wanted to make it. I'm glue that down. And then I'm going to come down here and put something else. Let's see, might go into this one. I've got a few of these bits. Here's a little piece. Put that there or a piece of that one. I want something going the other way. So now I'm going to ignore those for a minute. 
and maybe pop over here. It's good having them in an ordered in little dishes. That I think I had decided. I'm glad I decided to do that because that's just keeping me sort of more organized. That one's a bit big. Got this little green one. No. So this a little bit of auditioning is going to happen, of course. And goes that way. That's the same shape, so I don't want that one. Okay, reject, reject, reject. Um, oh, just a minute. Now I've got these as well. I think it's the colours. I don't want too many. I think I could cut that. That's very thick though. Not that one. So let me come back to this one over here. Oh, maybe this. I could cut this. Now, don't be afraid to cut down your stamped things. Just cut them down. I might put... I think I'm just going to put a frame up here. Like so. If I do that, then I can see where I want to put this. Maybe. I just want to see the direction. There, maybe. Maybe I like this. Hmm. You just have to keep trying them out until you find what you like. I definitely like that there, so I'm gonna knock I'm gonna lock it in. Oh I forgot about what about um the transparent on the transparent? I forgot about those. Let's have a look at those. And put that there and I'm not using any wet glue because you know the tracing paper will crinkle you don't want it, you don't want it to crinkle okay so put that there and let me just put these back so I'm tidy we'll keep it tidy today we'll try our best put that there and let's see here oh I think I might like something like that and I might even tear these. I think I'll use my tear ruler. Now, this little um, mini tear ruler came from AliExpress. And I didn't even know. I just looked at I wanted to buy a little ruler. I liked it because it had a grid on it. Um, and I just thought it would be really handy with the grid. And... Um, so I can line the grid up, sort of eyeball it a little bit and see, um, you know, make sure I go a little bit straighter. I won't say that I'll go straight because that would be a lie, but a straighter. Um, look, you can have a look at it there. It's, I can't even say that. It's Z, I don't know. Just have a look. It was like one euro, two euro, something it was inexpensive. It wasn't expensive. Now let's see if I'd like that somewhere. I think I'd like it down there. Let's put it down there. I think I'll put it down there. I'm liking the idea of the transparent on the transparent. Would I like it up there? No. There. I was trying to find something for here, but here I go putting something, putting it down in a different area. Where was I putting it? Down here. I'm going to put it there, like so. I'm going to find some of these little things, I think. Oh, yeah, look at that. You see, I like that. You can see slowly how it starts to sort of amalgamate together. Let me just grab this. So you do need to do a little bit of preparation to have all your bits ready. Um, maybe just if you want to do this project... Um, listen to the first part of the video again and pause it and write it all down as it, as I went sort of went through it. It's going to go there. Still need to find something up here. Let's see what else I have. Ooh, no, that's same same. Well, it's not the same paper, but it's similar. And I think I stamped all of those on that. Maybe that could go there. There. And always remembering, you're only going to use little bits, you know, here and there on things. So I've got that one up there. 
Um, oh, what about one of these? We haven't used any of these. Little, little, I've got little mini circles here. That one. Let's see if I've got a mini circle that I might like. Nope. Okay, well, we, we weren't going to lose our time, waste our time worrying about circles. I think I'm going to take a piece of this and tear it down a little bit because it's too big. And I'm going to put that there. Oh, and I ripped it. Wouldn't you know? I'll have to put it back together like a jigsaw puzzle. Let me grab that bit first because that bit goes on first. It doesn't pay to, to glue on sticky bits of paper. There we go. Oh, and it's sticking to me as well. Nasty piece of work. Okay, that's going there. And do I want any more? Like, you need to have quite a few of these things, I think, floating around to use. Do I need any more, is the question. I feel like that would be good somewhere. I don't want to put too much. Put it there. Or I could have maybe a circle there. Or a half circle. Or is that too many circles? No, okay, let's give it a rest. If it doesn't work, give it a rest and move on to the next step. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, I forgot about all those words over there. I've got words here. Just a second. I said I was giving it a rest, but you know. Um, oh, I even kept that little word there. But I don't think I need, I don't think I need anything else on this one. So I think I'll stop fapping about and we're going to move to the next step. Now, the next step is stamping. We're going to do some stamping. So uh, anything will do. Any stamp will do, like any scripty stamp. I've got one here with numbers that I've never used before. So I thought I'd give that a go. I've just got to see which way is the up. That way. So I'm going to do a little bit of that. I'm going to take my stays on stone grey. And this really, this really gets it going. You'll see how this goes. Don't, I'm not putting ink on the whole thing. And I'm just going to stamp here. And I'm going to do a little bit maybe over here. Um, so just mixing up where I'm putting the stamp. I'm not putting it all over. I'm putting it in here and there there and then I'll do just a little bit down here okay that's that now that's that stamp and then I'm going to grab I uh, have another stamp here I've just got to find I'm going to get some red ink because I've got a lot of blue on here so I'll get some red ink or I could go I could go green as well any color and I'm just going to grab a different scripty stamp scripty do stamp and I'm going to, and I did do a test run because this is, as I said, this is something quite difficult for me. Um, so I did do a test run and I'll show you that at the end of the video because I needed to figure out how, how does it work. So I'm just going to do little random stamping, turning it around, filling in areas that need a bit of stamping on them. And I do feel like maybe a little another stamp there. I kind of feel like that's enough. I put a little bit there as well. And there we go. And I and then I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I think that's really fun. Um, I'm going to let it dry, and I would like to use that to embellish things, put in background of things. I don't know, but we will play with it. So we'll start another one. We'll probably just do one more quickly, hopefully. Move that aside. 
So let's choose. Let's just start quickly with a different colour. Let's start with this nice bright pink. Well, it's a peachy sort of pink, isn't it? I better close that ink there. I'll tell you what, it was so much fun colouring in with those um, papers. I'm going to put this up here this time. Really a lot of fun. And I'm going to put something behind it. Where's the painted ones? I've lost the painted ones. And of course you can have a bit of script. Here's a bit of script. Maybe we'll cut a piece of script out. Of real script or you know stamped out printed I'm not stamped out printed script I'm just going to cut my little corners off too for a bit of something different okay remember to stay up there Rachel and I'm going to glue my script down so I'm trying to have them in different directions that's my goal is to put them in different directions um, I might grab a circle and put this one here. Put this one down here. And I kind of, I don't want them to look too modern. Like I need them to sort of fit in with other things that I do. So um, I've got to be careful of that. Hopefully they're not going to look too modern. Like that we're going to have maybe a piece of book page. I don't think I've got any book page left over here. I only have a little piece. I've got this lovely little piece. I love that. I might use that. Pull those out. And we're just going to find... Where's that? I know I've got book page floating around on my table somewhere. And I need to go and get Lily soon, so I really shouldn't be mucking around too much. I'll tell you what other papers would be really nice on this sort of project. I think would be really nice. Um, the papers that I think would be really nice are the onion skin papers that they used in in you know the mid 1900s. I think those would be really lovely to use for this because they're kind of transparent. They're not too thick. So just trying to mix up all your different papers, different stamping frames, all those sorts of things. I'm going to grab one of these. Oh, I just love the colours, how they turned out. Love the colours. That one maybe like that. And I'll put another... Maybe we'll try one of these spotties. I just did that with the, the alcohol ink pen. So, of course, if you yeah, don't go out and buy alcohol ink pens to do this. I mean, just use what you have. So you might have... Um, I need something else under that one. You might have... Um, I've got these as well. Do I have any cut out? I did cut some out and put them aside, but anyway. You might have some... Um, yeah, you might just use paint. Just use your acrylic paint. If you've got those or regular textures, although the nice thing about the alcohol inks is they do seem to um, they do seem to sort of blend in really well. Like you don't get all of the um, lines when you're colouring in with the texture. So that's what I like about those. I'm going to just snip that bit off. That can go somewhere else. And I'm going to put this bit down here, but I might go on this side. So I'm trying to sort of switch up where I'm placing them as well. And I think if you practice, like, I might put it that way, um, as you practice and do more, uh, it might become a bit easier because, as I said, I do find these things quite hard to do. Like, I really have to think about it. I'm going to put that one down there. Okay, so that's my base. And now I need to start adding some bits. And I did say I wanted to use this bit here. Do I have any circle bits cut out? See, that could be really nice there. I'm going to put that there. It's upside. It doesn't, well, there's not really an upside down because you might rip bits off and, and just use it here and there in your collaging. 
and it may not have a direction. So I wanted to have that all there like that. Did I put enough glue on it? That's the question. No, I did not. Okay, that's that. Quite like that down there, but it does blend a bit. Anyway, we'll do one bit. I might not even use it because that's what happens. I just changed my mind. Okay, so I do have these bits here. And I might like to, oh, oh, I already see it. I like that down there. So where's the little ruler gone? Here. I like the colours. And I actually found that I liked how this tracing paper, um, like stamping on, oops, look what I've done. I like how I, it, um, so when you stamp on the vellum, I find that sometimes it blurs, but on this, on this tracing paper, it seems to not have blurred at all and it dried really quickly. So I really did appreciate that. So I think it's good to have a mix of vellum, the, you know, the heavier one, but also some type, just have some of this thinner tracing paper as well. So that's going to go there. I think I smudged it because my finger had glue on it. And I am going to put some sort of little numbers down here. Somewhere there. Right across the flower. Because we're layering. We're layering up. Put that right across there. I like that bit down there. Now I've got to work on this in the centre. Might have a sip of coffee. And then soon I've got to go. Okay, what bits do I have floating around here? I don't want script. I don't want the, I've got these painted bits. No. But you do see you need a few, quite a few things to, I quite like that there, you see. I'm working down on that one. That See that little bit there is inspiring me. <laughs> And so I'm putting them down so it's touching all the bits there. And that's how I find the right position, in my opinion, to put it. Could not be somebody else's opinion, but that's my opinion. Okay, I do have these. I love those, but I don't know if they're going to fit. But then I have these as well. But I don't want red. Oh, I like these. I love that 15 cents. Okay, let's see. I, I know I had a seven. Oh, here we go. I've got a seven cut out. No. Not the eight. I could cut the eight out. Oh, I've got these lovely. I thought stamps would be very nice on the. Oh, I like that. I thought stamps would be very nice on this sort of thing as well. I just want to see what other, this is what I like this too. Where do you put that? No. See that? I put that in the wrong spot. It's it's doing my head in. That's what it is. That's what's bothering me, is where I put that. But it doesn't matter. It's there now. It might have to be covered. I like this. I think I like that there. I'm going to, I'm going to lock it in. Lock it in because we don't have time. And put that there no up there so if you can't find a, you know these dot or grid little stamps just do it quickly yourself I've done that before you just do it yourself you just make it up as you go no not that one I don't want any of those I don't think I could have that. I need something here. Not that, because I've already got the other one, but I might like... Oh, what about this? Do 
too many things going in the same direction. Now that goes over here. I might like a little piece of this. See, I don't mind that, but then I've thought, what about, I haven't done a, a um, what about a frame? Do I have any more frames cut out? I have these, but these are a bit big. Unless I put it, no, that's too big. I don't want that one. I'm sure I had a third one cut out. But maybe not. Oh, I didn't cut the other one out. That I had that one. So not that. So I think I'll just put this here. But maybe I could grab, let's see in these um, sticker bits here that I've got, if there's something that takes my, oh, there's the watercolour ones. They've curled up. They're two similar colours. might glue that down so I put a lot more on this one than the other one and then I might just see if there's any of these no I think I'll leave it we'll do the stamping and it should all come together let's do that now what I thought I might do is switch out this stamp because we've already used that one and maybe try one of these Gritty, gritty stamps. I could probably use my little thing here. This. Now let me just see. I think the up is that way, but you never know. I'm going to just keep on using the stays on, not switch it out. Oh, I like that. gone a bit crooked but it's okay it's just to give you the idea and again I'm going to use my red because it's stamped or maybe I'll use blue here's the blue do I have a lot of blue going on there not really so I can use the blue let's see what the blue looks like which way is up that way so here I'm going to fill in, I'm filling in the gaps, coming, layering it over the top. But what I else I could do is also grab this sort of thing. And glue that as well somewhere, like here. And then stamp on there and I can have that piece up there Put this over here and you can like come in with other stamps. You don't have to use just two. I'm just using two, but you can use a few different stamps. Okay, I think that's enough on that one. So that one's quite different to the first one. I just found it so much fun and I'll probably do some more before like build up a little bit of stock of those. Whoops. So I'll just show you, I'll just grab a plain piece of paper. I'll just put it on, here's the vellum pad. So that's that one. I'm gonna let them dry. And then I was thinking you can just use little pieces of them. I love the second one that I did, this one. And then this is the first one, my sample that I did. So that's the sample. So there we go. So that is my little project for this week. Super fun, something different. Like kind of creating your own washi tape style of thing. Um, but it's a collage washi tape and 
and then you can use bits and pieces of it in your collage on pages um, you know like sticking it over some book page could be quite fun once it's glued down so yeah so I hope you enjoyed that there's my Roxy's weekly challenge um, for this week I hope you enjoy it and uh, thank you so much for watching and I'm off to get Lulu see you soon bye